overview of everything that you'll really need to know on a normal basis in order to do regression. So let's read through the question. The following data shows the number of years of education and the annual salaries in tens of thousands of dirhams of a sample of 11 employees. So we have X and Y. X would be the number of years of education. And Y would be their salary because education is an independent variable. Salary comes afterwards and is the dependent. Find the coefficient cor correlation coefficient R and comments on its value. Now the first thing is we need to put in the data. So to do this we're going to hit mode and then we're going to hit stat and then we're going to hit A plus BX. So let's go ahead and do this on our calculator. Mode, stat, which is number three, and then A plus BX, which is number two. And we have an X and a Y chart. So we need to put in all of the data. Eight, nine, just go ahead and fill in everything as you see. And there should be 12 employees. Hmm, I thought it was 11. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 12. So it's not a sample of 11, it's a sample of 12. Okay, we're going to do the same with Y. not 4.5, 8, 4.5. And once again, we should get them to equal up. You have to hit a C at the end of it in order to go back into the home page. Now the first question says find the correlation coefficient R and comment on its value. To do this, you have to go down here to this yellow stat button. So you have to hit shift, then the number one to go into stat, then you go into regression and you choose R. So let's do that, shift one, regression in this case is number five, and we're going to choose R. And we get that R equals zero point, it's 898, so we're gonna do 0 0.90. In other words, we have a strong positive linear relationship. Okay, the next question says, find the coefficient of determination R squared and comment on its value. To do this, all you have to do is what you did up there and then hit the X squared button. We've already gone through this, so I'm just gonna hit the X squared and it takes whatever answer I just found and squares it. So we get R squared is equal to 0 0.81. In other words, 81% can be determined based on the information and the equations that I get. The next question says, use the least squares method to find the regression equation for a line of best fit for the data. Plot the regression line on the scatter diagram. We're actually not going to do that because that'll be a little bit later on. So what we're going to do is we're going to find A and B and then try to solve it. So let's go ahead and look at that. Now you have to follow the exact same rules as previous. Shift one regression, but instead of choosing R here, you're gonna choose A or B. Okay, so shift one regression, and I'm gonna start by choosing A. And I get A is negative 3.63. Now I'm gonna do the same process for B and I get B is 1.14. In other words, the line of best fit is Y equals 1.14X minus 3.63. In other words, it's going to be B times X plus A. Use the result from D to predict the salary of an employee with 14 years of education. Is your prediction reliable and give a reason? Well, 14 years of education is our x-coordinate. 
So we're going to do y equals 1.14 times 14 minus 3.63. So let's go ahead and plug that in. 1.14 times 14 minus 3.63. And I get that they should be making about 12.33 in thousands. In other words, they'll be making 12,330 dirhams a month. And then it says, is it reliable? Well, R squared says 81% that it will be reliable. It's 81% can be determined. But even more importantly, if we go up here to our data, we have 16 is a nice high number, 19, 16, 17, 20. We're looking for a number close to 14. And right here, we see that somebody with 15 years experience makes about 13,000. Therefore, it is reliable to say that at 14 years, you should be making about 12,000.